Hi everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I am going to be making two appetizers that you could take over to a friend's house. And of course, it is New Year's Eve, so I'll be taking them over to my friend's house. But I'd love to share it with you today. So let's get started. So these two recipes are so easy and I can't wait to make them. The first one being hot chocolate cheesecake dip. Ooh, that sounds so good. And then I'm also going to be baking a cheesy chorizo crescent bite. These are going to be so good. And if you ever, if you've never had chorizo, it is kind of like a spicy sausage. So it is gonna be delicious. I'm going to first start off with our uh, the hot chocolate cheesecake dip. So I'm going to need a few ingredients and I'll show you. So right behind me, I have cream cheese that is softened. We're gonna need some marshmallow fluff. You'll need some um, Cool Whip, some plain Greek yogurt here, and of course, hot chocolate mix. Now the recipe calls for uh, some dark hot chocolate, mostly for color, and I just couldn't find any. Ugh. So I'll just use my regular hot chocolate mix. It should be fine. So what we're gonna do first is mix the cream cheese in a bowl. So I've beaten the cream cheese, and so I went and bought um, just a container of plain Greek yogurt. Now, my recipe calls for just a half a cup which I thought I would measure this out. So I don't think it's gonna be more than this, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I look forward, this is gonna be like our third or fourth year spending it with our friends. And I'm just so grateful that we get to spend New Year's Eve having so much fun with our friends, eating lots of yummy, yummy food. And then everybody goes, now we're gonna to commit to better eating. <laughs> okay, so one cup or one of those containers was exactly what I needed, was a half a cup of this plain Greek yogurt. And then we're also going to need, I believe, yes, half a cup of this marshmallow cream. Now I know so for my friends who are watching me overseas, I'm not sure how available marshmallow fluff is, but um, I think if you melt down some marshmallows you guys is that like what is that what you think this fluff is like I don't I can't even explain the consistency but it's it is made out of marshmallow for sure so half a cup of this which is silly that I'm just I bought this just to take half a cup Ugh. I know I'm just gonna probably toss the rest that's why I like to double recipes if you know what I mean Yep, like barely took half the container. But I got some marshmallow fluff. <laughs> so we're gonna add that, and then we're also going to add a cup of the hot chocolate mix. So if you're probably buying packets, cause that's what you have at your store, it's probably a box, I would imagine. And I will leave the link to this recipe below in the description box, um, so that way you can have all of the measurements. So, so easy, so yummy. And this is gonna be a dip, so you're gonna need items to dip with. I have some pretzels, I have the big marshmallows, I just bought some chocolate chip cookies, you know, just made it easy for myself. I think I might even have something else. I'll have to look in my pantry. All right, and then I'll bring you closer and we're gonna mix that. So this is all nicely blended. It's a nice color of brown. So I can see why um, the person who published this recipe uh, looked for like dark chocolate in the, the hot chocolate. And I know sometimes I can find it, but I just couldn't this time. So that would make it a little bit richer in color, but I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of like mocha-y-ish. Um, so I'm adding now the Cool Whip. And I'm just gonna blend that in or mix it in with the spatula. And then that's it, you guys. I told you it was so easy. And then we're just going to put it, like I was thinking about how I wanted to display this. 
And so let me show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm just going to be putting it in the middle of a platter. So I have like little florals, but the reason I decided to use my floral platter was because I'm going to use my mug. Now I got this mug for my birthday from actually Tina. So uh, it's a nice size mug. It's not like a little, little one, like a regular coffee mug. It's a little more large. So this batter should fit in here. So it looks like hot cocoa. So we're just going to put that in. Tell me in the comments what your plans were for New Year's Eve. Were you able to get out to a friend's house? Maybe spend some time with family? Do you play games? Do you watch movies? Um, do you get out and party, get dressed up? I remember being, when I was single, I kind of did that a couple of times and that was fun too. <laughs> so I am, yeah, this is nearly full. I'm trying to get it all. And then um, when it's time to go, so you could kind of see it's a little overflowing. I'll bring it closer or I'll, I'll come closer. Look at that. And I'm going to put like whipped cream on top. And then I have some candy canes to crush on top. Some little marshmallows. I'll put on oh, just a few around just for like decor on it. And I actually have some really cute um, things to put in it. I got these for Christmas and then I just think they're just too pretty. So I think this will be perfect for also putting them in, like putting it in the, the mug. Wouldn't that be so cute to have like these little cinnamon sticks or um, peppermint sticks sticking out and this little marshmallow topper. Oh my gosh, it will be adorable. And so I'm just going to um, right now put this back into the refrigerator and so I'll get it ready before we leave, which is in about three hours. <laughs> so this is ready to go. Now I'm gonna work on those crescent bites. <gasps> so good. Now it looks so good. Now I gotta try it. Uh, this is so yummy, you guys. Perfect for anything to dip in like fruits and other cookies and whatever you would probably dip in like Nutella. So good. It'd probably be even good with Nutella in it. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. So for this next recipe, I'm grating some medium cheddar cheese. Sharp would be perfect as well. Um, just something with a little bit more depth to the taste. Uh, if you have mild, mild would be fine as well, if that's what you have. But I love Fresh, sh freshly shredded cheese. It's my favorite. Okay, so for also this recipe, you'll need some chive and onion cream cheese spread. Now I got two of these because I wasn't sure if this was gonna be enough. So I'll have to measure it out, but you'll need a half a cup. And this is what half a pound of chorizo looks like. It's eight ounces here or nine ounces, so it might be a little bit more an ounce more <laughs> so chorizo is that spicy mexican sausage it is really good it's um i grew up eating this a lot with like uh with scrambled eggs like together it's so good in breakfast burritos so we're gonna give that a little cook in a little bit but let me finish the cheese first so we're going to take these now these are fairly inexpensive they're like a dollar fifty ish for a half pound or nine ounces. So I am going to just give it a little bit of a heat through about five minutes and I have two because I'm doubling the recipe. So I'm just using my handy dandy meat masher. Thanks to Danny Lynn. So I'm just going to keep this going for about four more minutes. It's kind of doesn't look that appealing, but it smells really good. It's got some good flavors in it. And then I am going to transfer this to the bowl right over here right behind me and it has the cup of cream cheese the chai of cream cheese and then a, a cup of the cheddar the recipe called for it to be cooked for four to five minutes but i'd say five to seven minutes just because it's starting to change a little bit more and we want that change to happen that means it is cooked through so it does look like um chili being cooked uh like a can of chili so you can see now, like there's some oil on the side 
And um, I'm just gonna scoop this into the, the bowl and then just let it sit there for a little while. It's not a rush. Um, I, that'll mean, that way it'll kind of cool down a little bit to, so I can work with it. But I'm trying to scoop it out away from the oils in the pan. Cause you know, that way it can be a little bit lighter. It doesn't have to be so fatty. <laughs> and then we're gonna work right now with the Pillsbury um, Crescent Sheets. Remember I used that recently in my uh, a recipe. No, I can't remember what it was, but it's gonna be so good. So we're just gonna use that, roll it out on a cookie sheet, I mean a cutting board, and then I'll show you what to do with it. So you're gonna be using these. So these are the Crescent Dough Sheets. They're very handy. They're not really big and puffy either. Um, I think a puff pastry is more like that, but these are just kind of like you can make a, a really quick pizza on it if you wanted. Uh, so this is it. it, it rolls out and I'm just kind of forming it into the perfect rectangle because we're going to be making 24 cuts with the pizza cutter. So four rows and then six rows. So let's see if I can do this. Okay, so we have 24 here. And so let me um, show you what we're gonna be doing with the mixture. Okay, we're just gonna give this a good mix. It's still nice and warm, <laughs> which is fine because it's gonna melt in these uh, cheeses. And then we're just going to put a little bit on each square and then we'll go from there, you guys. But this is gonna be a yummy little dish. You could serve it with, um, some cilantro, maybe some salsa, some sour cream. They can just kind of dollop on top. And when using this part, you're gonna probably wanna get a little teaspoon because the squares aren't huge, but they are um, big enough for I think a teaspoon would be perfect. And then we're just gonna start putting the dollop on just kind of in the center. Now I am measuring this out because remember I'm doubling it. So I'm kind of halving the, the mixture here. And then we're gonna, um, I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. Some of these aren't perfect, so they're even smaller. So be very careful. <laughs> and if I have leftover mix, then I'm gonna go back over them. But I just kind of want to get some on here first and then I'll know how much I can put back on top. Okay, and now we're going to um, take the ends and join them at the top. And then we're gonna place them on the cookie sheet. So we're kind of giving them a little bit of a twist. There's some coming out right there, but that's okay, because it's gonna be not perfect. So we're gonna make our corners touch, and then bring the other corners to meet and then twist. So they're just these cute little like pouches, and then you see how there's like openings on the side, that's to get it cooking inside as well, to finish up some of that meltiness that's gonna be so delicious. And then I'm just gonna do the rest. Okay, I have these all ready to go into the oven, 375 for about 11 to 15 minutes or just until they're golden brown. These are smelling so good. I can't wait to try one. These just came out of the oven. They smell so good that I did expect that some of them would spill out a little bit, but that's okay. So we're going to let them cool down just for a little bit and then I'll give them a sample taste. Woohoo! All right, I'm ready to try. Oh. That's so good. A little kick of spice, nice and cheesy. Look at that. Oh, they're like easy to eat too because they're little finger foods. Mmm, I think everybody's gonna like it. So while I have those, the cheesy chorizo um, crescent bites in the oven, just kind of staying warm at like 175 degrees, 
I thought I would start getting this ready. So I pulled this out. Isn't it just so cute? So I am going to um, put some of the, uh, I have a couple of things to put on. Let me get the whipped cream. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of whipped cream, about a quarter cup or so, just kind of a little swirled on the top and then I can start putting the little, um, the peppermint bits on there. It is just so fun. Then it looks like a hot a cup of hot chocolate. Awesome. So great. Let me show you. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So I'm gonna bring you closer and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put on the plate. And so I just think it would be perfect in this hot cocoa cheesecake dip. And then we're gonna put some more mint on top. And then we'll start adding the little fun things that can be dipped in here. I will put a spoon in here so that people can spread it either on their, um, on their little cookies. So I'll add like a couple of spoon, maybe a couple of knives as well. So it's coming all out. But I have some graham crackers and some pretzels for that salty sweet. And some big marshmallows. I thought that would be fun to put in there. Now I can feel that this, this dip is pretty chilled. So I think it would probably spread easier if it was a little more at room temperature. So I'm kind of glad I'm putting this together right now. But I also just went and grabbed some like Chips Ahoy cookies. I, I wanted something a little crisp. And I think these are gonna be perfect. Wow, this is looking mighty, mighty delicious, wouldn't you say? It looks like a, a, a cavity waiting to happen. <laughs> I think the kids will love it. Okay, I'm gonna put a few more um, of graham crackers here, but what do you think? Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. I've been reflecting a lot. Um, on New Year's Eve, just how important you are in my life and just how grateful I am for this channel. And so give yourself a thumbs up because you guys have really helped bless my life as well. Today I am taking these two appetizers, the, the cheesy uh, chorizo crescent rolls and the hot chocolate cheesecake dip. I know that my friends will love it. They were so delicious to try and you make them let me know what you think stick around rollers and you just never know what I'll be rolling out next happy new year